Welcome to the Hennessy Performance YouTube channel. Welcome back to another great video. My name is Alex and we are, of course, on the Pennzoil Proving Grounds test track where we normally are. And we're gonna do some validation testing on one of our world famous Velociraptor V8s. And if you haven't heard, you should read up on it because these things are pretty awesome. Um, we're doing the shop vlog today, so this is kind of an inside look, behind the scenes, unscripted part of Hennessy Performance. So, I'm with Emma, she's behind the camera. <laughs> hey guys, not and, in front of the camera today. And uh, we're gonna do some validation testing on this V8. And basically what the Velociraptor V8 is, exactly what it sounds like. We are taking a second generation Raptor, we're taking the V6 out of it, and we're putting a five liter Coyote V8 with a supercharger, supercharger on it. So it's going from 450 horsepower to 750 horsepower. Uh, and it sounds way cooler than the V6. No offense to anybody who loves the V6, but the V8 is just better. So we're the only people in the world who are doing this swap. There's no one else. And that's kind of cool. But these trucks are just amazing performers. Uh, in all in all sorts of categories. So this is a actually it's a two door truck. I think they call it the super cab, but it's got the you know the little half door in the back, smaller back seat. But it's cool because they feel lighter, they feel more nimble, and this car has pretty much all the accessories. Uh, it's got Brembo brakes. It's got actually two spare tires in the truck bed, which looks pretty cool. It's got the drop down side steps. It's got the V8 of course. But weirdly enough, this is a base. Raptor. This is a base model Raptor, which honestly most people have never seen. If you look right here, it actually has a key uh, instead of a push button, which is so weird. Yeah. And even like the seats. Yeah. I've never is, seen these seats before. This is a base model Raptor cloth. with cloth seats, which I yeah. promise you, you've probably never seen this before because no one orders them like this. You have to special order it because no dealer is gonna inventory a base model Raptor because just no one is gonna get it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, super weird, but it's still an amazingly cool truck because it's got a V8 in it. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty nimble too. brakes to slow you back down all right guys so check this out we're gonna just make sure we're gonna do one final full pull on the back half of the track let's go from zero I wish you guys could feel this we're in a truck it's crazy there's a hundred there's 110, just like that. In a big pickup truck, and then you've got Brembo's to slow you back down. Supercharger on it, uh, 750 horsepower, and we are about to go around the track, do some initial testing, and then send it back to the customer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
got something cool we want to share with you. This is our 2020 GT 500. We're doing some upgrades on. We've been going through the R&D process on this car. As we started making more power, we noticed that the stock clutch was starting to slip. So this is a stock unit right here, um, and we upgraded it with a Billy unit that's right here and saw on the transmission. This is the Tremec transmission that comes in the new GT500. It's kind of experimental. We're just trying it out, see if it'll work. Uh, we're excited to share with you guys the results because we really can't turn up the power anymore until we take care of this problem. So earlier I was showing you guys the upgraded clutch that we're putting in this GT500 transmission. Trey got the clutch installed on the transmission. He got the bell housing back on and now what you see is him putting the transmission back in the car. So we're almost ready to make some connections and bolt up our cross member, put our drive shaft in and our exhaust and we'll be ready to start and get back to testing. Paul just got done putting our Goliath 6x6 together. It's now got a 416 cubic inch stroker motor, it's cam, got the exhaust done, it's got all the goodies on it, now has all the power, has our supercharger on it, um, getting ready to start this thing for the first time. Patrick's in there doing the tune on it, getting everything to sync and be happy, and then we're going to hear it in a few minutes. Paul here, he is the man behind this Goliath 6x6. Paul, what did you do to this truck? Oh, well basically Jerry took it all apart um, and I got to put it back together. <laughs> put a, a 416 supercharged uh, engine combination in, in it. Um, first of its kind. Um, really excited to see what it will do. Um, with the 6x6, I think this thing would be a beast yeah. anywhere it goes. So, um, Patrick right now is in there uh, putting the calibration in, so we'll see uh, we'll see where it goes. We're excited. Guys, this thing is huge. Yeah. Look at how tall this truck actually is. Right? Jerry, how tall are you? Six two. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, how tall are you? Five, five six. Okay. And this thing is up to right under my chest. Yeah. The wheel well. Crazy. So my hand is almost in line with the fender. <laughs> and then this truck is obviously really long. 